What up, YouTube? This is Supercharged iOS, and this is my list of five brand new city tweaks for iOS 7. The first one is Hidden Settings 7. All one word, just like that. And it's free from the Big Boss repo, so you won't need to add any repos or anything like that. And what it does is it adds a bunch of settings to the control center, so when you swipe up from the bottom like that, once you have it installed, there's nothing to configure, by the way. It'll just say Springboard Settings, just like that. And once you get that installed like that, you just tap there and you'll see all these settings and it's a whole bunch of settings. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I'll show you one really quick called folders, the second one. So when you see this, folder blur folder background is normally turned on. So I'll go ahead and show you what the folder background looks like normally. You see that blurry effect behind the apps. I'll go back into Springboard settings, turn that off. And now you can see the background is completely transparent. So that's cool. It looks a lot better. And that's one of the many settings. So that's the first tweak. Hidden setting 7, all one word. Once again, it's free from the Big Boss repo. So check it out. Next is SB Power Alert. It's free also from the Big Boss repo. So you won't need to add any repos for it. And what it does is I'll give you a little demo. I have mine set to where you hit the home button three times and it brings up this power menu which allows you to reboot, respring, enter safe mode or power off your device or lock it and you can also configure the settings to where it will show you how much free RAM you have on your device and the amount of storage you're using and also you can have it set to where it shows which version of iOS you're running. So I'll go ahead and exit this and go to my settings and show you how to configure it. So you go into settings and find SB power alert settings. And you can go ahead and turn on whichever features you want. If you wanted to show your Wi-Fi IP or your Wi-Fi network, you can also enable that. And to configure it to where you can bring it up using three clicks of the home button, you just go into your activator and click on anywhere and then you'll see triple press and make sure SB power alert has a check by it but if you want to use another method besides triple press there's a ton of different ways that you can do it you can even set it to when you shake your device it'll bring it up I don't recommend that if you do a lot of walking or anything like that because that tends to set it off but there's a ton of other ways you can do it I just choose triple hit the home button because it's the easiest and most convenient for me. All right, so that's SB Power Alert. It's free from the Big Boss repo, so check it out. The first iPhone 5S only tweak is BioProtect. It's $2.99 from the Big Boss repo, and what it does is it allows you to use the Touch ID feature of your iPhone 5S to lock apps. So any app on your phone, you can prevent anyone else from being able to access any app as long as you have the settings configured. And here's how you enable it. You go to settings, find BioProtect right here, and it asks you for your fingerprint to access the settings. And you enable it right there. So I have the App Store enabled so I can show you how it works. I'll go ahead and exit out and try to enter the App Store. And you see it asks for your fingerprint. And there you go. So that's how it works. And another really cool setting, a BioProtect. Go back into the settings and show you. BioProtect. Right here, circle color. Select that. And it lets you choose the gold ring or the black ring or the silver ring for either the white iPhone 5S or the space gray iPhone 5S or the gold iPhone 5S. So I got mine set for the gold one, which is the one I have. So I thought that's a pretty cool setting. So that's called BioProtect. It's $2.99 from the Big Boss repo, so check it out. Next is a really cool tweak called Messages Customizer. It's free from the Mod My Eye repo, and what it does is it allows you to customize the colors of the text and SMS bubbles. Now this tweak will work with all devices that are running iOS 7. So I'll go ahead and go back and show you how to configure it. Just go to settings, scroll down, 
so you find messages customizer and here's SMS bubbles and iMessage bubbles so you can see that I have red and dark blue and I have black for the other person I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like go into my messages and there you go you can see the different colors now I'll show you how to change it just go back into your settings and I'll go into SMS bubbles I have red set I'll go ahead and choose yellow and then for the other person I'll choose teal now I'll go back go into messages and all you do is hold your finger and there you go you just change each one like that and they'll be changed and it also will change all the rest on all the other messages so you just go through the messages one at a time like that so definitely check that out it's called messages customizer and it's free from the mod my i repo and the last tweak is an iphone 5s only tweak it's called virtual home and what virtual home does is it allows you to use the touch id feature to emulate the home button so you don't have to press it all you have to do is put your finger on the touch id now there's no settings to configure once this is installed it's good to go so i'll go ahead and exit out of Cydia and lock the device to show you exactly how it works you just hold your finger on the button and there you go you completely bypass the lock screen again I'll show you you don't have to press in the button at all all you have to do is hold it in hold your finger on the button to activate the touch ID and you bypass the lock screen so that's probably the best feature of this tweak the other feature is you can just hold your finger on the touch ID and it'll bring up the multitasking switcher like that so it really does give your home button a break that way you don't have to keep pressing it in because I don't know if, how many iPhones you've owned but the home button definitely wears out fast so this is a pretty useful tweak alright so that pretty much wraps up my top five city of tweaks for iOS 7 I hope you guys enjoyed this list I looked everywhere to try to find the best five tweaks that I could and I know some of these cost so if you just want to try them out before you buy them or something like that just go into Cydia and go to your sources click on edit click on add and then type repo dot insanely I dot com and go ahead and add that source repo dot insanely I dot com you'll be able to try out some of these tweaks that are paid tweaks and decide if you want to purchase them or if you just want to go ahead and get them free, that's your choice also. It's up to you. All right, this is Supercharged.iOS. This was my top five brand new city of tweaks for iOS 7. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. Also like my page at facebook.com forward slash charge.iOS. Follow me at twitter.com forward slash charge.iOS. And also check out my new blog at supercharged.iOS.blogspot.com. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.